What's up guys welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to build two types of matrix display like I just did with Arduino and ESP8266. So without further ado let's get started. For our first build I used 8x8 no pixel matrix module and also a node MCU with ESP8266. Also I add a MPU6050 to my circuit for future use. At the next step I designed a case for our matrix display and after few hours it was fresh and ready to use. After some soldering, I start coding and testing my matrix. There is a little tip about matrix display. The arrangement of no pixel for matrix are two types. The no pixel of the module like the one I used in this project is continuous connected together. But in the second type, which also called zigzag, the next line of no pixel is actually will be reversed from the previous line. If you're using continuous or zigzag you should define it in your code. Don't forget that because it will ruin your animation if you don't define it correctly. Also the instruction and code for this project are available on my website cyphertech.net. I put tutorial link in the description down below, check it out. So if you're here until now please consider subscribing it's really helped me and also we have cool projects scheduled in future i see you there At this point, everything for our first build is ready. Kind of. I try few type of material for diffuser and I end up with 3D printed one. I tried 1 and 2 mm 3D printed diffuser and after few minutes of testing with different saturation and brightness, I choose 1 mm diffuser for this project. As we can see, the diffuser in this build is the one last piece which make our build complete. In this matrix, the thickness of diffuser has huge impact to what we will receive finally. Because if diffuser be thick, it's kind of blur the space between each pixels. Or being too thin, it simply won't do its job. For our second matrix display, I simply use WS2812V NeoPixel Street. The NeoPixel type is same as the module I previously used. These NeoPixels are addressable, which are great for our project. There are four different pins in these strip lights, which enable us to power it up with 5 volt and also make a communication between NeoPixel and microcontroller using D-in or data input. Also, with the help of DO or data output, we could connect the cutout strip together. In this matrix, we use zigzag type connection, which I explained it before. As we can see, like the first matrix display we built together, I make a case for this one too, and I 3D print it.
The reason I use ESP8266 for this project is that these microcontrollers has Wi-Fi compatibility. In simple words, we could control our device with web server or applications. As you can see, instead of a node MCU which I used in the first project, here I used a ESP8266 with breakout board. The difference is just that we should upload our code with USB 2 TTL and there is no problem with that. At this point, both Matrix display are ready and let's see how they doing with the little montage. And also before that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I see you in the next video.